Hey everybody, it's Justin here. Uh, I'm doing a video on the new Microtech Router OS version 7. Woohoo! We've been waiting for this for a long time. Anybody who's been around uh, the WIS business and Microtech for a while know this has been years uh, being released. Uh, some people call it the Fabled Unicorn Edition, but we actually have one. Um, this video, I'm just going to kind of browse around it a little, give you guys a little overview. You mainly just talk about it, um, rather than you listening to me just drone on about it. I want some sort of visual, uh, so what better than, you know, kind of look around the router OS. Uh, there's going to be a, a blog post uh, in the comments of this. That's going to uh, have links uh, to various forum posts. It's going to have more pictures. It's going to have some more information on what's in this version, what's not. You know, this is uh, a limited beta kind of deal. So, like, uh, you know, BGP's not in here. Um, you know, Winbox uh, doesn't have a lot of the functionality. It's all within command line terminal. This has been kind of one of those things that Microtik has done for, for quite a while with new features and releases uh, they have them in the terminal so you have access to them but you might not see all the goodies in Winbox um, you know at least not right away so this is this is pretty standard with Microtik uh, kind of expected it uh, the the for Winbox not to really match up with what the terminal is especially for a major release like this um, like I said we've seen it in the past so so no big deal uh, for any of you wanting to try this out um, you can do it on the cheap pretty well uh, I did a uh, HAP AC2 uh, from I just got it from ISP supplies you know shameless plug for those guys uh, is 60 70 bucks somewhere around there uh, it does have the arm processor that's uh, the only version or the only processor that uh, version 7 runs on at the moment so uh, it was either that or a, a 3011 so you know uh, just for poking around and things like this this uh, this HAP AC2 will will be just fine so let's let's kind of get into it a little uh, I have Winbox up on the screen uh, one of the first things that you see is this new Winbox uh, thing brings up a new version of Winbox when you click it. You probably can't see it on my screen because um, I'm just doing a window capture uh, for this. So, But it actually does bring up a new, um, a new Winbox session so you can jump into another router or whatever without having to go back to your desktop or you know finding the Winbox shortcut or something like that. That's, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, like I said, there's no no real routing features in this uh, version seven. The routing stuff is what's really going to be the uh, the things that change the the new features, the new improvements. Um, so rightfully so, they didn't include it because you know I I can just speculate, but you know uh, they don't have all kinds of questions about it. People aren't trying to use it. You know they're just kind of easing easing us into it. Um, but if you notice, we have a router ID, and one of the cool things in that is we, you know, we start seeing the the VRFs here. So for you, you router jockeys out there, uh, you know, VRFs are something that's uh, become prevalent in the past several years. Uh, so it's nice to see that kind of coming into play in Microtik here. Um, like I said earlier, most of the stuff is kind of the behind the scenes in the terminal. So if we just open up a terminal window, you know, we, we got more options here. Uh, you know, if we go to routing, you know, we got some cool stuff. Um, we can reinstall our fibs again for you router jockeys. You know what fibs are. We won't spend a lot of time in this video, uh, going over that. Um, if we go to route, you know, we, if you notice, we got some, we got some, some changes here going on. Uh, but if we look at, um, IP routes, one of the cool things, we'll just, this is a plain Jane factory reset, HAP AC2, so there's no real configuration on it. I'm actually Mac Winboxed into it. But we got some, you know, some cool tabs here. 
uh, with some some more more information. Um, so more information is always good. Um, you know things are things are looking quite a bit the same um, as far as you know what we're used to. Um, we got some we got some more more options here in bridges. Uh, if we go to interface bridge, do a question mark. You know, we got some things like that. It looks like Kalia is already kind of built in here. Uh, one of the things you notice, again, I'm kind of jumping around. I'm so excited to see version 7 that, you know, it's like I'm a kid in a candy store here. Uh, I've been waiting for this so long. been bugging Giannis and Giannis and everybody about this. I'm just, I'm excited. So if I jump around here, you know... Don't mind me. I'm just trying to show everybody a kind of quick overview. So they mentioned this in their forum post about um, the different packages. Uh, so you can read up on that. But right now we just have router OS. But it looks like maybe Kalia is already uh, in here. Um, so it's it'll be interesting to see how many of these packages they kind of... Uh, you know, merge into the different packages and into one master package and, and, and that sort of thing. So, uh, what else do we want to see? Um, you know, file systems, the, the same. Um, how did I get here? So, I followed some of the forum posts. Uh, I upgraded this HAP AC2 to um, the latest router OS, which I believe was 645.6. And then I also upgraded my router board firmware before I even installed version 7. So when I installed version 7, rebooted, um, I came up and I upgraded my firmware here as well. And so far everything's, everything's good. Um, haven't messed around with the wireless much, you know, you, I'm in advanced mode here, so you can see things are, you know, pretty much the same, um, you know, we got some, some more options, if we, again, go back to a terminal, we go to interface, we go to wireless, you know, we got pretty much what we're used to, uh, we got some more knobs and dials to turn here, uh, but, you know, again, all, all kind of behind the scenes. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of, kind of good overview. Um, again, it's not for production. It's a, it's a release. Um, it's a beta release, so feel free to kind of play around with it. Um, you know, I'm just kind of going through here randomly and, uh, Interface Ethernet, you know, all that, all that kind of looks looks the same. But yeah, uh, pretty exciting stuff. So feel free to subscribe, comments, you know, all the good stuff you hear from every video out there ever. Uh, visit the blog post at j blog.j2sw.com. Leave some comments. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Uh, and thanks, thanks a lot for listening.